Hey yo, you see that nerd right there? I bet you 500 bucks you can't get her a date for the prom. 500? Alright, bet bro, you're on. Okay, but if you lose, you owe me 500. Hey, excuse me? Yeah? Please tell me you got two options today. Yeah, I did. But what's it to you? Just tell me what they are, please. I got the option to be smart or be beautiful, but I haven't picked one yet because I can't decide. Pick to be beautiful. Excuse me? Uh, I just mean you're already the smartest girl here, so I would just pick to be beautiful if I were you. <laughs> you really think that I should? Oh, yeah. Wow. Well, okay. Nothing's changed. Oh, man. Maybe the system's broken. I think it's still loading. But prom's in two days. Yeah, so? Listen, how would you like to go on a little shopping spree with me? You barely even talk to me. Why would you want to take me- I want to be your friend. Come on. Well, my mom does say I need to make more friends. So? Fine. But just so you know, my mom has installed a chip in the back of my head, so she can track me wherever I go. Okay. I'm just saying in case you're trying to kidnap me. Uh-huh. Can I see those glasses? Sure, but they're a little busted. And now they're completely busted. Why would you- Chill. Chill out. I'll get you something better. But I can't see without my glasses. And that's the bell. Follow me. What does your beauty option say? I would tell you what it said, but I can't see because you broke my glasses. I told you I'm going to buy you contacts, but first we got to fix that unibrow. I'm going to pluck a few hairs, okay? No way. Come on, I'm just trying to help you out. I'm going to make your eyebrows look snatched. It won't hurt too bad, right? Nah, we're just plucking a few little hairs. Ow! Okay, that was a big one. Please tell me you're done. I'm done, and it's looking good. Yikes, I can do eyebrows, but not hair. Time for a professional makeover. A makeover? Yeah, you know, like in those teen movies. It'll be fun. I don't know. Don't be a negative Nancy. Come on, we're going to the mall. I won't even be able to see where I'm going. Just hold my hand, and I'll guide you around. Hey, it's okay. You can trust me. I'll buy you contacts once we get there. Let's go. Those should be your prescription. Can you see? Yeah. Perfect. Now try these on. Remind me again why we're doing this. Uh, I'm just trying to be a good friend to you. That's all. Okay, that top is the one. Now we just gotta get you some hair and makeup to go with it. I will be your hair and makeup artist. Come with me. Are you ready to see her? Yes, ma'am. Let him see, honey. Holy shit. She looks, uh, beautiful. Now you have my number. Call me for prom. Bye. How do you feel? I feel... different. Hopefully it's a good different, because next we gotta get you a date to the prom. Why don't I just go with you? Oh, actually, I was planning on asking this other girl, so, uh... Right, of course. But hey, listen, you deserve better than me. You know how to flirt, right? Well, sure I do. Okay, let's go over a few things then. First off, guys kind of like it when girls, you know, play with their hair. Like this? Oh boy, we got some work to do. Okay, let's try a subtle lip bite. Uh, no, don't do that. Try again. You know what, never mind. Okay, pretend to ask me to prom. Go to prom with me. Ow. Okay, let's try asking and not grabbing so hard. Sorry. Hey, will you go to the prom with me? All right, that was perfect. If you stare at a guy like that with your eyes, he'll be <clears throat> mesmerized, yeah. I should probably get back home. Yeah, for sure. Hey, Jake, guess what? I got someone to go to the prom with me. Really? Who? Him. Sup, Jake? Bet you didn't see this coming. Here's your 500 bucks, Jake. I guess you won the bet. I didn't think I'd be the one taking her on a date, but damn, she's hot now. I mean, she was already kind of cute. Eh, well, I just want a hot date. After prom, I'm gonna dump her. What? She'll get over it. I'll talk to you later. Hey, can we talk for a second? What's up? I can't let you go to the prom with him. You can't go to prom with him. What? Why not? Don't mess with my prom date, Jake. I'm not gonna let you use her. Me? You're the one that's been using her. What is he talking about? I was just trying to help you look nice because... Because I made him a bet. A bet? Yep, that you couldn't get a date to the prom. Listen, I know that sounds bad, but- I thought you said you were helping me so you could be my friend. I- You were just using me for money. No. I'm sorry, I should Get away from me. And to think I actually liked- Layla. Never talk to me again. Forget them and forget the system. I was beautiful before this makeover and I'm beautiful now. Maybe this option wasn't supposed to make me beautiful. It was supposed to show me that I already am. But I think for prom, maybe I won't wear the glasses. And you know what? I don't need any guy to go with. I'm going on my own. 
Hey, Layla. What you doing? Walking to my Uber. Uber? I told you I'm taking you to prom. And I told you I'm not going with you to prom anymore. I'm going alone. That's not gonna happen. Let go! Get in my car. I told you I'm taking you to prom. And I told you I'm not going with you to prom anymore. I'm going alone. That's not gonna happen. Let go! Get in my car. No! Hey, Ricky. Let her go. Jake. Get out of here, Jake. I'm not going anywhere, Ricky. Get away from me. I said let her go. Ugh. All right, that's it. Come here. Ricky, I don't want to Oh, Stop it. Leave him alone. Ricky, come on. Let's not- Ugh. Shut up. Hey, Ricky. Ugh. Stay down. Ugh. Ugh. Hey, are you all right? I'm fine, but you're bleeding. Yeah, he got me pretty good. Hang on. Ugh. I'm going to call the police, okay? Okay. Hey, how you doing? Uh, you know, I've been better, but the doctor said I'm clear to go home, so that's good. Thank you so much for saving me. You kind of saved me with that kick. <laughs> Layla, you need to know, that bet was stupid. You were already beautiful. Thanks, Jake. I kind of already found that out for myself. Because you're smart. Well, lucky for us, there's one hour of prom left. I'll let you go hang out with the girl you said you were going to ask. Layla, wait. I don't want to go to prom with anyone but you. I thought you just wanted to be friends. No, Layla, I don't. I mean, if it's okay with you, I'd like to be more than that. I would like that. So should we head to prom? <laughs> Samantha, who is this boy on your phone that you've been talking to? Mom, what the heck? You took my phone? Yes, I took your phone. I am your mother. I can do that. And you, you have been on that Xbox all day. Chill, I've only been on for 15 minutes. Ever since you divorced Dad and got that hairstyle, you turned into such a Karen. I am not a Karen, okay? And that was very rude. You two are grounded. Mom, we're going over to Dad's. It's his week. All right, fine. When you get back from your father's, you two are grounded. Gosh, getting older is just the worst. Now I have all these problems with the divorce and the kids and ugh. What I would give to be 16 again. Oh, I wish I was younger. I'm gonna go take a nap. <gasps> I look like my 16-year-old self. I've gotta call Susan. Oh my god, who are you using for your Botox person? This is amazing. No, Susan, this is not Botox. This is magic. Magic? Yes, I made a wish to be younger, and when I woke up, I looked like this. Well, in this situation, there's only one logical thing to do. Pretend to be a student at my kid's high school and spy on them. I was going to say go to therapy, but that idea's better. See, this is why I like you, Susan. Okay, Susan, what are we thinking? First day back to school outfit. I even got oh, no. a little headband to match. No, you're trying to blend in with Gen Z, not our generation. Come on, Tits, we're going shopping. Learn a fact about every item you touch, or forget a memory every time you touch an item. I think I'm going to go with this one. Got my birthday gift. Let me see. My parents got it for me. It's designer. Parents bought this at Walmart. What? Why are you making that face? <laughs> Nothing. It's so cute. Thanks. It was probably so expensive. Hey, Mom, is it cool if I go to the beach with Ryan just for a few minutes? Darling, you know how I feel about you going in the water. Mom, your irrational fear of me being eaten by a shark is not going to come true. I promise you. It's actually very rational, dear, so the answer is no, it's not safe. Mom, come on, please, just this one time. Took you from your mom. Why are you looking at me like that? No, it's just you're right. Forget I even asked. Okay. This system has to be broken. Hey, psst, over here. Ryan, what are you doing at my window? Just trying to sneak you out from your strict mom so you can go to the beach. Did you dye your hair? What? Part of your transformation. You good? Hello? Yeah, let's sneak out of here and go to the beach. I need some fresh air. Come on, you gotta actually come in the water. Ryan! Place where your mom was captured. Melanie? Is something wrong? Come on, you gotta actually come in the water. Ryan! Place where mom was captured. Melanie? Is something wrong? Okay, this is gonna sound crazy. You think you're turning into a mermaid? And your mom took you from your real mom? But think about it, my mom never tells me that she loves me, and she never wants me to go in the ocean. She's paranoid of sharks. Do you really believe that story? I mean, it sounds more realistic than you turning into a fish. <laughs> you know what, you're right. The system is probably just broken, and my hair is probably just having a reaction to my new shampoo. Yeah, do you want me to walk you home? No offense, but she doesn't really like you, so... It's cool. Just be careful. Thanks. I will. Oh, darling, can you get me my phone? Of course. Do you smell that? It smells like salt water. I don't smell anything. Has secret videos of you? It's just a glitch. She wouldn't have something like that on her phone. 
Wait, what's this? It's been one week since the subject has given birth. So far, her child has shown no signs of being a mermaid. <coughs> what are you watching? What's this? It's been one week since the subject has given birth. So far, her child has shown no signs of being a mermaid. <coughs> what are you watching? Were you watching a video? I was just reading one of your texts. Um, you got a text from my doctor saying um, this is urgent. She needs to come in for her next appointment. Give me that. I'm really sorry. I, I should probably just go to bed. It's getting late. Not so fast. It's only 6 p.m. Is your hair turning blue? We're going to see your doctor right now. Have you noticed any changes happening to you lately? Be honest, honey. No. Interesting. Did you notice your hair is changing color? Yeah, I think my hair is just having a reaction to my new shampoo. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's take your temperature, open. Using this to drug you. Actually, I was wondering, could I use the restroom really quick? <sighs> of course. Just don't be too long, okay, honey? I have to get out of here. Your real mom is behind door. I have to get out of here. Real mom is behind door. Mom? You want me to drain the tank? If I do that, won't you die? Oh, um, here. Thank you. How did you do that? How did you just transform into a human? I can't believe you found me. I can transform into a human because I'm part human, and so are you. They took you away from me. They told me I would never see you again. Dying. You're dying. I need to get back to the ocean. They've had me here for so long. Your father, he tried to stop them. My real father, where is he? Your father is dead. He died trying to save you. How could you? <laughs> we had to do whatever it took. Research is what we live for. Now get back in the tank. You stay away from her. <laughs> you can't stop us. You're turning into a mermaid too. Time to give up. Not quite. Freeze, both of you. Ryan. Hey, let go of me. You should be arresting the mermaid freaks, not us. Melanie, are you okay? Both of us need to get to the ocean. Okay, come on. My dad and I will help you guys. Has crush on you. We can take my police car. Come on. Thank you. Uh, we made it to the ocean. I don't feel so... Melanie? Melanie! Whoa. You look amazing. You can't tell. Don't worry. Your secret's safe with us. Thank you. We must go. But... I'll come visit you again. I promise. Okay. Ryan, wait. Just in case I don't see you for a little while. What are you... Don't take too long to come back, okay? Max, look, we can get adopted by a scientist or a billionaire. We both like science, so maybe we should do scientists? No way. That's too risky. What if they find out about our powers? They could try to study us for research. What if they don't want both of us? Of course they're gonna adopt both of us. We're twins. They have to. Okay, I guess we're picking billionaire. Oh look, it's the freaks. <laughs> hey! Give that back to her. Max, don't do anything dumb. I'm not letting her steal that from you. Hey, Molly, you gonna cry? <gasps> what the? Uh -huh. That just floated out of my hands. Freaks. Was that really worth it? Yeah, that's the only thing we have from our parents. Come on. Molly, Max, are you ready to meet your new father? Yes. Yeah. Here he is. Hello, children. I've heard a lot about you. Uh, you, you have? have? Yes. Now, come along. My mansion awaits you two. Oh, bye, guys. Let's go. This is both of your rooms. Why do the doors have locks? It's just for your safety. Max, he's lying. Just give him a chance. Good morning, children. Oh, good morning. Did you sleep well? Uh, yeah. Good. Come here. I have a surprise for you. Surprise? Whoa, is that a gaming system? Look at all these video games. I've never seen so many Squishmallows in my life. They're all yours. Hungry for Starbucks? You have a Starbucks in your house? That is so cool. Would you two like some Frappuccinos? Yes, yes please. please. Children, I have to go to a meeting. Please stay in this room until I get back. Hey, Molly, aren't you glad you gave him a chance? <laughs> what are you doing? We're not supposed to use our powers. Someone could see us. Chill out. No one's around. Come play with us, Molly. <laughs> Come on, I know you want to use your powers. <laughs> your koala better square up. <laughs> Stop. What? What happened? I don't know. I just feel like something's wrong. Up there. Oh no. A camera. That means he's been watching us this whole time, and he knows about our powers. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. I think I know how we can escape.
I see you found the camera. You two aren't going anywhere. I know you both have powers. And I'm not letting you two leave this place ever. What do you want from us? I want you to help me take over the world. You're crazy. Maybe, but now you're stuck with me. Take them to the experiment room. No! It's gonna be okay. Give me that. You give her that back or else... You try anything and he'll attack you. Hey, you can talk to animals, right? I haven't done it in a really long time. He's gonna be back any minute, just try. Please calm down. We need your help. We don't mean you any harm. Good boy, now go do what I told you. He's gonna help us escape. Yes, I knew that would work. Whoa, boy, what are you doing? Hey, get off of me! Run! Wait, I almost forgot. Molly, come on! Watch out, another bodyguard is coming! Let's go! Hello? Did your penguin just talk? Molly, Max, is that you? Yes, it's us. Who is this? It's me, your mom. And me, your dad. What? It's a long story, but all of us aren't from this planet. Molly, let me see that. We believe we're close by to you. Follow your instincts and find us. I think it's really them. Let's go meet them. You are not meeting anyone. You two belong to me. No, we don't. Molly, now. <gasps> hey, put me down. Okay. Whatever, Whatever you, you say. say. Time to go find our real parents. No way. This has got to be it. This is the ship. I kind of remember it now. I think I see mom and dad. Come on. Excuse me? I saw this flower and I thought of your face. Do you think I have Riz? Honestly, you need to work on it. Why did I just get money? Cuz, sweetheart, every time someone has a crush on you, you get money. We're gonna be witch. Wanna go prom dress shopping? I can't. I'm broke. You have no new crushes? No. Oh my gosh, what did I tell you? You're so pretty, but you don't talk to anyone. That is not true. I talk to Tommy. Tommy is a little creep who likes to stalk you. He doesn't count. You need to talk to other boys. Look, it's not my fault that I have social anxiety. Girl, just let me teach you how to flirt. I can flirt, okay. Here comes a guy. Hi, um, I like your face. Huh? You know that I have a girlfriend, right? Right. <laughs> and you lost more money, didn't you? Yeah. You're coming with me. Fine. This is perfect for prom. I'm telling you I'll buy it for you. And I'm telling you I can't. It's way too short. My parents would kill me. What's going on? What's up with your crushes? I don't know. It just... Hey. What the freak, Tommy? What are you doing in the girls' dressing room? Listen, I posted something that's going to make you rich. Tommy, what did you post? It's nothing bad. It's just... You tell me what you posted, right? Oh my gosh. You need to see this. Don't get mad. You need to see this. Don't get mad. You recorded me without me knowing? Look, I was just trying to get you some more money. Do you know what's going to happen when my parents see this video? Are they going to get mad you're wearing that dress? Come on, you're 18. And that video's viral, so you're going to be rich. Tommy? Yeah? Delete it. Uh, I kind of got logged out of my TikTok account. You what? <laughs> Her video is getting so many views. You little creep, Tommy. Ow! That's for following us. <clears throat> oh, jeez. And that's for recording me without permission. I was just trying to help. Casey, where are my other clothes? I don't know. They were right here. Hey, looking for these? Hey! See ya. <laughs> How much money you got now? Two thousand. Wow, I guess your video's really going viral. Girl, calm down. Well, you know, I don't like attention like this. Can you please just buy me this dress and I just want to go home. I actually have to go. What? You'll be fine. You're rich now. Casey, please, you can't just leave me like this. Sorry. Casey! Bye. You're going to wear the dress out? It's going to be $122. Where are you going? To the bus. And I would appreciate it if you would stop following me. You're cute. Hey, are you okay? No, I'm not okay. Casey left me with no way home and this creepy guy was following me so I couldn't get the bus home and- I deleted the video. You did? Yeah, it's doing more harm than good. Uh, your friend just posted something. You need to see this. Don't get mad. You recorded me without me knowing? Look, I was just trying to get you some more money. Do you know what's going to happen when my parents see this video? Are they going to get mad you're wearing that dress? Come on, you're 18. And that video's viral, so you're going to be rich. Tommy? Yeah? Delete it. Uh, I kind of got logged out of my TikTok account. You what? <laughs> Her video is getting so many views. You little creep, Tommy. Ow! That's for following us. <clears throat> oh, jeez. And that's for recording me without permission. I was just trying to help. Casey, where are my other clothes? I don't know, they were right here. Hey, looking for these? Hey! See ya! 
How much money you got now? 2,000. Wow, I guess your video's really going viral. Girl, calm down. Well, you know, I don't like attention like this. Can you please just buy me this dress and I just want to go home. I actually have to go. What? You'll be fine. You're rich now. Casey, please, you can't just leave me like this. Sorry. Casey. Bye. You're going to wear the dress out? It's going to be $122. Where are you going? To the bus. And I would appreciate it if you would stop following me. You're cute. Hey, are you okay? No, I'm not okay. Casey left me with no way home and this creepy guy was following me so I couldn't get the bus home and- I deleted the video. You did? Yeah, it's doing more harm than good. Uh, your friend just posted something. What's happening? Uh, your friend Casey just posted something. This rich girl literally gets mad at me for not buying her a dress. Just buy me this dress? I don't have enough money. Casey! She edited this. I just can't believe that she would do this to me. She definitely got jealous of you getting all these crushes. But you know what? Come on. I'll go with you to go confront her. Look, it's the whiny rich girl. Boo! Get out of here! Hey! The video was faked and we're gonna prove it. Come on. Casey! What is wrong with you? I thought that we were friends. Oh, the video? I was just showing people the real you, that's all. It's not real if you edited it. Yeah! Did you not ask me to buy your dress? You offered to pay for me for that dress. That was before you had $2,000, and then you still asked me to buy it. Well, I'm sorry I wasn't thinking clearly, because I was in the middle of having a panic attack. Well, boo-hoo for you. Just admit you edited the video. Okay, I edited the video. Does that make you feel happy? No one's gonna find out anyways. We wouldn't be so sure about that. Say hello to my live stream with over a million viewers. You've been streaming this? Yep, and you heard the truth here, guys, so pass it on. Whoa. My crushes are disappearing. <laughs> FYI, a lot of people on the live stream were shipping us together. <laughs> well, you kind of stuck up for me when my best friend didn't, so... Are you giving me a chance? If you promise no more stalking. Deal! Oh my gosh, I've been dreaming of this my whole life. I mean, uh, I'm cool. I'm cool. Pick a title. Famous or queen? I mean, who wouldn't want to be royalty? Wait, queen of men? What does that even mean? Hey girl, what's wrong? I don't know, I just got a really weird title. Queen of men. Ooh, I wonder what that means. Hey, somebody's looking nice today. Ross, you literally have hated me since the third grade. <laughs> You're too funny. I think you can control men. There's no way. You have 10 missing assignments. I'm calling your parents. Please don't tell them. I'm going to get grounded. Actually, on second thought, take as long as you need. I won't tell anyone, beautiful. You can control them. Hey, I did your chemistry homework. Thanks. Go get me some Chick-fil-A, please. Yeah, of course. Anything for you. You're kind of taking advantage of- Go away. My crush is coming. <laughs> hey, Tyler. Go on a date with me? Huh, maybe. But first, go break up with my girlfriend for me. Be able to turn off your eyes, or turn off your emotions? Uh, if I turned off my eyes, wouldn't I be blind? I'm gonna go with emotions. This is gonna be interesting. Let's try this out. Emotions off. Whoa, that was so weird. They posted who got the lead in the play. Can you check for me? I'm kind of nervous. Of course, let me check. Okay, I got the results. I'm sorry, but you didn't get the part. That's okay. Hey. Hey. Uh, can we talk? Yeah, what'd you want to talk about? <sighs> this is hard to say, but I think we need to break up. It's all good. Wait, what? After that, it's probably best I leave my emotions off. Surprise, honey! I got you a car! What's the matter with you? Sorry, mom. One sec. Honey? A hundred dollars every time someone lies to me, or a hundred dollars every time someone laughs at my joke, I'm not really funny enough for this one to work, so I think I'm going to go with lying. Love the hair. Aw, thank you. Is it cool if I sit here? Yeah, sure. So, what's your name? My name is Jack. Whoever you're sitting next to will be your partner for the project. So it looks like you and I are partners, so maybe would you want to come to my place and work on the project, or- Nah, my parents don't allow me to go to a girl's house alone. Um, you know, what if we just went to like a Starbucks or something? That could work, right? I'm not allowed to go to Starbucks either. It's probably best you just go to my place. You look nervous. Relax. I'm not gonna do anything. Hi, I'm, um, I'm here to see Jack. We're gonna work on a school project together. Yes, hello, I'm his father. 
I've been expecting you. How many did you get? <gasps> 5,000. Wow, baby. This year, I'll be able to talk to you a lot, Daddy. Actually, honey, I have to go on a business trip, but we can talk when I get back, okay? Mommy, it's been two weeks. Haven't you heard from Daddy yet? No, honey, I, <laughs> I think something might have happened to your father. Mommy? Your mom needs surgery, but she doesn't have enough words to pay for it. I can pay with mine. Are you sure? It's going to cost a lot of words. So, is my mommy all better now? Sweetheart, we tried all we could. Your mom didn't make it. We tracked down one of your relatives. This is your Aunt Hilda. Hello. She has a lot of words she can give to you. She'll need to earn them. Did you finish all of your chores today? Good. Here you go. Only three. You're lucky I gave you that. Take out the trash. It's not my fault you didn't get words this year. <sighs> no. This looks like a letter from my... Did you finish all of your chores today? Good. Here you go. Only three. You're lucky I gave you that. Take out the trash. It's not my fault you didn't get words this year. <sighs> no. This looks like a letter from my dad. What was this doing in the trash? Ella, what is in your... Give me that. Get back! How dare you look through my trash, you nosy little child! Oh, what? You want me to give you more words now, hmm? Well, that won't be happening. And this letter isn't from your father, it's from someone pretending to be him. If you go through my trash one more time, you'll never get another word from me again. You missed a spot, Ella. <laughs> I'm going to take a nap. You keep cleaning. See you later. Now's my chance to find the letter. This has to be real. Aunt Hilda tricked him into giving all of his words to her, and now he's stranded? This whole time I thought he was dead. I have to help him, but I need words. I have to help him, but I need words. Where are you off to? What are you- Oh, today's the first day of school. Well, have fun making friends with no words. <laughs> Bye, Ella. Sorry, I can't help you. I'm late for work, kid. Excuse me. This isn't working. Hey, that old lady looks like she's about to- Oh! Thank you, dear. I almost fell over. What's your name, dear? Oh, you don't have any words, do you? Well, I have plenty to spare. Here you go. Thank you. You have no idea how much this means to me. Of course, honey. Use them wisely. What's that smirk on your face all about? Excuse me, I'm making dinner. Do you want some? No, thank you. How did you... Who gave you words? You know what? Let me see that notebook, you secretive little child. Will work for words? You thought you could lie to me? Think again. How could you not tell me my father was alive? He writes to you every year, you know. And I always throw his letters in the fire, but this year I got a little sloppy and put it in the trash. Why would you steal words from him? He's your own brother. He had millions of words and would never share with me, and neither would your mother, which is why I had to get rid of her. What? Your mother's surgery didn't go well for a reason. Look, I needed you to become an orphan. Why? So legally I could control your words. You are sick, but I have a lot of words, and I'm going to send them to my father. <laughs> go ahead. He needs at least 3,000 to come home. Well, that's perfect, because I have just enough. What? Well, then I can't have you doing that. Thanks to your big mouth, you'll be staying in this attic until further notice. Dad? It's me, honey. I got your words. I missed you so much, Ella. Your Aunt Hilda has been arrested. But are you okay? I am now. Sweetheart, meet my new wife. Hello, dear. She's just about to get her words for the day. Really? Well, how much did you get? Please. That's weird. She usually gets way more words than that. How many words today, dear? Oh, how awful. And at your father's funeral, too. You should use them to say something to him. I'll miss you, Daddy. It's that time again. Time to see how many words you got. Oh, four again. I want a notebook. We've been over this. That would be a waste of paper. And you're foolish to use up your words so quickly. It's probably best you don't speak, dear. My queen, how is she to meet a prince if she cannot speak? Well, that's just it. She won't be able to meet one. <laughs> Princess, we heard there's a prince that wants to meet you at the ball today. Ladies, we do not gossip in this castle. And I can assure you, that's not true. Don't worry, Princess. You look great. You're ready for the ball.
You're going to make such a beautiful queen someday. <laughs> queen? She can never be queen. Why not? Because she hardly ever gets any words. How can she rule a kingdom with no words? At 18, she's supposed to take the throne. Absolutely not. It's bad enough she's a silent princess. Imagine having a silent queen. Hello, princess. How was your day today? Oh, no words, huh? I find it better when women don't speak anyways. <laughs> Care to dance? Oh, what was that for? Excuse me, princess. I, uh, I saw what you did back there. I thought it was great. I can't stand that prince. <laughs> but actually, there's something I wanted to talk to you about, maybe in private. It's about your Excuse work. me, it's past her bedtime. Come along. I don't ever want to see you around that prince again. He's not to be trusted. How many words today? How many did you get? Four again. Well, might as well use them up right now. Oh, don't be stubborn. Just say something. I will be queen. How dare you talk to me like that? You need to learn respect. You shall not leave this room for two days. I'm sorry, princess. We cannot open the door. Princess, can you hear me? I don't think this is her room. Help. Oh, princess, hey. I can't believe I found you. I also can't believe I climbed up this tower. Can I come inside? Right, sorry. First things first, I want to give you some words. I know it's illegal, but you deserve to speak. Thank you. Look, there's no easy way to tell you this. I think the queen is taking your words. What? Yeah, but worse than that, I think she's trying to have you killed. Open the door. I need to check on her. Hurry up. Open the door. You have to go. Climb out the window. Be careful. Just thought I'd check on you. Has anyone brought you any food yet? Well, you must be starving. I'll have the chefs make you something special. Here you are, dear. What? It's your favorite. Why won't you eat? You're trying to poison me. How did you... Who gave you words? My queen, we caught a boy trying to climb down the castle. No. Oh, so it was a boy who gave you words. Lock him up. No, please, he was just trying to help me. That's enough out of you. Take him to the dungeon. It's illegal to transfer words to someone else. Yes, your majesty. I know that you want me gone. Really? Took you long enough? Well, you're not going to get away with it, because I'm going to expose you to- What's that, dear? I can't hear you. You see, I found a way to take your words. <laughs> the time has come. No one can hear you. In life, you must take what's rightfully yours. You see, since you're royal blood and I'm not, you're to take the throne at eighteen. And we can't have that happening, now can we? Poor, helpless princess should have just eaten the food. After all, that's how I got rid of your father. <laughs> what, you didn't think he just mysteriously passed away, did you? Oh! You little- Hey, get away from her. Who set you free? That would be me. The prince told me of your evil plan. Looks like he was right. Here, princess. That's illegal. So is trying to kill the princess. You are no longer queen. Would you like to take her words? No! You had infinite words, yet you were still taking words from me? Take her away. Congrats on becoming queen. Thank you for everything, and I know this might sound kind of silly, but I feel like you and I are meant to be together. Actually, you took the words right out of my mouth. You need a job, girl. Yeah, I know. I only have $20 in my account. You know that nanny app? Yeah. Apparently some billionaire is looking for a nanny. Let me see. He's kind of cute. It says he wants them to be CPR certified, have five years of experience with working with kids, and a college degree. All things I don't have. But he doesn't know that. Stacy, no, we are not faking documents. You need money, honey. <laughs> don't. Don't give me that look. Wow, this is amazing. Your resume is just outstanding. Thank you. When can you start? Oh, I'm free to start whenever you like. All right, okay, here you go. I'm going to give you your first paycheck right now. I got two of the kids right there. Say hi, girls. This is your new nanny. Hi. Can she cook? Oh, well, actually... Yeah, her resume says she can cook anything. Since you're a chef, can you make a sushi? Yeah, whatever you girls want. Yay. Yes. Hi, I just want to order some sushi, but I need it delivered out back. <laughs> Don't you dare snitch on me.
Mmm, this is so good. Well, I'm glad you like it. Daddy used to cook for us, but now he's too busy with his job. Yeah. You know, what is your dad's job anyway? <coughs> We're not allowed to say. Who made this? Oh, that would be me. Hi, I'm the new nanny. And who are you? I'm Darren's girlfriend, and I'm allergic to sushi. Throw this away. Just go in the other room. It's not bothering you. Ow. Hey. <laughs> it's fine, honey. Darren gave me permission to discipline the girls. Are you okay? I have to tell your dad about that. Don't bother. He, he won't believe you. She acts different around him. Excuse me, sir. Lucy, hey. This is for you for being so great today. Now, if you'll excuse me. Is that a gun? Is that a gun? Oh, you weren't supposed to see that. <laughs> Why do you have that? What is your job? Listen, Lucy, if you're gonna work for me, there's some questions that are off limits, and that's one of them. Excuse me? No, I want to know that I'm safe here. You are very safe with me, Lucy. I promise. Actually, sir, I came up here to talk to you about your girlfriend. What about me? Hey, babe. Hey, baby. Yeah, what about her? I was just gonna say that she's gorgeous. Darren already knows that. Don't you, babe? He didn't listen, did he? No, not really. I told you. Listen, girls, don't worry. I'm gonna find a way to expose her. No, baby. He's just a job. You're the one that I love. We'll talk later, okay? Bye. Lucy, you didn't hear anything. Oh, but I did. No, you didn't. That's a lot of money, huh? It can all be yours. If you keep your mouth shut. Don't tell Darren about my man, and the money's yours. You have a deal. Perfect. And then the fairy lived happily ever after. The end. Thank you for reading the book. I always wanted my mommy to read it. May I ask what happened to your real mommy? I don't know my real mommy or daddy. We were all in foster care before this, but Darren adopted us. But I love you, Lucy, because you're like a real mommy to me. Yeah. I love you girls, too. Then tell him I'm going to make him an offer he can't refuse. And you better give me my money by tonight. Does this guy work for the Mafia or something? Hey, Lucy. Oh, I, I got it. it. Uh, huh, you know, you got really nice- Hey, babe, guess what? Your nanny is a fake. The college she graduated from doesn't exist. I can explain. I don't like liars, Lucy. She lied about everything on her resume. Pack your stuff right now and get out. I told you to go. She needs to be fed. I can take care of that. Sir, please don't fire me. I know I shouldn't have lied about my resume, but I do care about your girls. And if you fire me, they're going to be heartbroken. The kids will be fine, Lucy. Well, then you should know that your girlfriend is cheating on you. What are you talking about? She's lying. I heard her on the phone in the closet. She paid me not to say anything. I did not. You lied to me once, you're probably lying to me again. But, sir... You're fired, hon. Get over it. Give me the baby. No. Lucy. Shh, it's okay. Lucy, where are you going? I'm so sorry. I'll be taking that money back. <laughs> It'll be okay. No, it's not gonna be okay. I failed them. Ugh, his girlfriend is so evil. No, baby, he's just a job. You're the one that I love. I think she's out to get his money. Huh? The kids are in danger. I have to go help them. Where's Daddy? Sorry, honey, but Daddy's getting interrogated right now. <laughs> I have to get in there. Hey, where do you think you're going? Hey, boss, look who I found. Well, well. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. Yes, girls, stop struggling. Everything will be fine. For me. Actually, no, it's not, because I may not be a chef or have graduated from college, but there's one thing that I didn't put on my resume that's uh, about to come in real handy right now. And what's that? How did you- I'm a black belt in Taekwondo, bitch. Lucy. Girls. It's okay. Lucy, is everyone all right? Yeah, Lucy saved us. You're hurt. I'm fine. Thank you. Daddy? Does this mean that Lucy can stay? Yeah, I just hope she can forgive me for being so. Now they have to get married. Yeah, or at least give her a raise, Dad. <laughs> Maybe I'll do both. Girls, the letters from your soulmates have arrived. One for you, Franny. Yay. And one for you, Olivia. Thank you, Mother. Is there one for me? Why, yes, dear. <laughs> this is yours. It's empty. How fitting. 
What is that supposed to mean? The only person who could love you is... No one. <laughs> there has to be some sort of mistake. There's not even a stamp on this envelope. The king himself sends out these letters. Are you questioning his authority? No, I just... There has to be a note for me or something. Mother, you have something for her. Oh, well, as a matter of fact, I do. What's this? A list of chores that need to be completed. You shall not eat until they're done. So get to it. Ah, oh, no. My letter. She threw it away? It has the royal stamp on it, which means my soulmate letter is from the prince. I look forward to seeing you at the royal ball. Sincerely, Prince Anthony. My soulmate is the prince. No one can know about this. Brielle, pour me my tea. Yes, ma'am. Mother, we have nothing to wear to the ball. We need some more dresses. You have plenty of dresses that you can wear. Don't be selfish. What did you just say? Ooh, she's gonna get it now. You should apologize to Mother. I... <gasps> that wasn't my fault. She... she pushed me. You idiot. I am so sorry. <sighs> Come here. You're staying in here tonight. No, please. Please let me out. Hello? Anyone? Brielle, wake up! Olivia, what are you doing? I'm gonna help you. I brought you food? This? This is the kindest thing you've ever done for me. Oh, here! I found your real soulmate letter. Thank you. The annual soulmate ball is tomorrow. You should come. I would love to, but your mother will never let me go. I have a plan on how you can sneak out. Really? Yeah. I'll keep your letter safe until then. Mother will let you out in a few hours. Bye! Oh, but... Hello, Brielle. I hope you learned your lesson. Now come, Olivia wants to speak with you. Whoa, that dress looks great on you. Thank you, but can I have my soulmate letter back now? Yeah, of course, here. Hey, why does my soulmate letter status say stolen? You have your letter. It's got to be a glitch. Yeah, I guess you're right, but will they let me in the ball with this status? No one can see your status except for you. Brielle, where are you? Hold on to that letter. You'll need to show it to your soulmate as proof that you're his match. Now let's go. Bye. Good luck at the ball. <laughs> I'm so sorry, miss. You're... Prince Anthony, yes. Please, excuse me. I was trying to find my soulmate. Your Highness, wait. I... I believe that I'm your soulmate. You are? Yes. Would you like to see my letter? No need. Those letters are my father's idea. To be honest, I find them a bit ridiculous. Yeah, I sort of think that if someone is right for you, you'll just know. Yes, exactly. <gasps> Oh Prince my gosh, Anthony. please dance with me. Maybe we should go somewhere a little more. <laughs> Private. So, what do you do for fun? Fun? Yes, during your free time. I don't really have much free time. My mother, she's very strict. My father is too. He never lets me leave the castle. You should be allowed to explore your kingdom. I tried to explain that to him, but he never listens. My mother never listens to me either. How could someone not listen to a sweet person like- There she is! There she is. That's the girl. Olivia? Don't act shocked. You know her? Oh, she knows me, your highness, and I would stay away from her. What are you doing? There are claims you have lied about your soulmate letter. That's not true. Uh-huh. He is my soulmate. I have the proof. Just look at my letter. The letter in this envelope is not from the prince. What? I have his letter right here. You switched them. What is going on here? She's pretending to be me. No, Olivia is lying. That letter belongs to me. Your Highness, don't listen to her. She's trying to trick you. She is the one trying to trick you, I swear. Enough. You're under arrest. Leave her alone. Where do you think you're going? Your... Your Majesty. Guards, arrest her at once. No, please wait. Stay still. Is it true you have been lying to my son? I would never. Thank goodness you caught her. How do you know this girl? She's my servant. You're not a servant, right? The truth is, I am a maid, but not by choice. What do you mean by that? That woman is not my mother by blood. She married my father, and then she poisoned him so she could take all his money. Lies? I would never. She did, and she forces me to clean, and so do her daughters. What? We do not. I don't know who to believe. I do. Brielle is telling the truth. 
Her eyes are innocent. The prince is mistaken. Please, father. I'm asking you to trust me on this, just this once. Release the girl and arrest her family. I believe you, son. What? No. You said this would work, mother. Good morning, my love. Breakfast is ready. They made breakfast? For me? Remember, I told you as my wife, you'll never have to cook or clean again. I simply won't allow it. Well, I guess I can't complain about that. It's just I... I'm not sure I'm fit to be a princess. You're so beautiful that when we first met, I thought you were one. Really? Yes. But more importantly, you have a pure heart which makes you more than deserving to wear that crown. Happy birthday! We got you something! I think I know what it is. An iPhone 4 colored pencils. pencils! Really? Honey, they're magic pencils! Why? Class, write this down. Purple power unlocked. Hey babe, do you mind if we take a rain check on our date this week? Are you nervous? <laughs> what? No, of course not. Are you hiding something from me? Crap, I can't do this anymore. I cheated on you, okay? I'm sorry. I feel so bad you and your boyfriend broke up. This tells me people's emotions. You're not sad. I don't know what you're talking about. She was jealous of us. I knew it. Hey, um, where's mom? She's outside with Coco giving her a lecture about listening. Coco, when mommy says stop, you say okay. I'm just a baby! Mom, you might not want to talk to her right now. But you still had to say okay, mom. I just a baby! I think today I'm gonna go with red. Red power unlocked. I get to see people's ages. Well, this will be interesting. Hey, good morning, girly. You're 20? What? How did you find out? Never mind that, but why are you still in high school? I failed. I got held back. Hey, it's okay. Your secret is safe with me. Hey, I'm new. Is it cool if I sit here? Yeah, of course. Thanks. So, how old are you? Me? Oh, uh, I just turned 17 about, like, uh, two months ago. Psst, hey, what? Do you believe in vampires? No. Why? Because I think I'm sitting next to you. Huh? You're funny. I'm telling you, he's a hundred years old. Can you watch my bag? I gotta use the restroom. Yeah, sure. See, he's- Girl, what are you doing? Looking for evidence. Ew, what is that? I think this is- What the hell, dude? What are you doing with my stuff? What are you doing with my stuff? Well, I think the better question is, what are you doing with this? That's for my lunch. It's strawberry jam. Oh! <laughs> Can I have my stuff back? Yeah, sorry. Yesterday's power was kind of a disaster, so today I think I'm gonna go with green. Green power unlocked. Let's hope this power helps me figure out if that guy is a vampire or not. Hey, so I just wanted to apologize about yesterday. You're good. I actually think you're kind of cute. How old did you say you were again? 17. I'm throwing a party tonight. Wanna come? Yeah, sure. I would love that. Sweet. I'll airdrop you my address. Hey, you made it. Yeah, but where is everyone? They're on their way. Hey, Mom, this is the girl I was telling you about. Ooh, she looks beautifully delicious. Stop it. Really, I could just eat you. Oh, no. Try my punch, darling. The flavor is to die for. Get back. I'm leaving. Wait. I have two vampires after me. This calls for some extreme powers. What would happen if I just picked all of them? Are you sure you want to combine all the pencil's power? I have to. Wish mode activated. There you are. Please, don't be scared. I know you know I'm a vampire, and I'm sorry about lying about the party. Your mom was trying to kill me. I was just trying to hang out with you alone. I didn't realize she was going to act like that. She has bloodlust. I wish you were a vampire so you could understand. Wish granted. What just happened? I think you just turned me into a vampire. How is that even possible? Because I have a secret too, okay? I have magic colored pencils, and I think you just used the last of their power. You don't have to worry about my mom killing you anymore. Thank you, because that makes me feel so much better. Hey, since I did this to you, I promise I'll protect you. I'll teach you how to be a great vampire. Join a dating program or go to prison? I guess I'm joining a dating program. Finding you a match based on your internet search yeah, history. Yeah, that's not creepy. Ready for your date. You know what? Why not? I hope you don't mind paying for the bill. Yeah, sir, you can give that to her. I forgot my wallet. Ooh, excuse me. 
You can actually just take this and keep the change. Goodbye. Wait, what? Finding you a new match. Thank you. Sup, girl? Did it hurt when you fell from heaven? I'm sorry, no. Just, just no. Finding new boyfriend. Please let it be someone decent. Hey, I'm Damien. Hi, I'm Danielle. <laughs> you seem cold. Here, take my jacket. Thank you so much for the jacket. No problem. Wait, what's in your pocket? Thank you for the jacket. No problem. Wait, what's in your pocket? That would be my medication. Oh, I am so sorry. I, I shouldn't have even looked. It's all good. You were just being cautious. What do you do for fun? Well, I usually like to go to the park and walk my dog. I bet you and your little dog get a lot of attention on walks. Yeah, she's... How did you know I have a small dog? You just look like the type to have one. Thanks for the tea. Of course. Cheers. Cheers. Hope this isn't too forward. So what do you say? Well, it says I have 24 hours to make a decision. Don't tell me you want to wait. I mean, we've only known each other for a few hours, and I would just like to get to know you a little bit better before... before I... Shh, it's okay. I had a feeling you might say that. Let me take that drink. Finalizing your decision. You picked Damien as your boyfriend. Where am I? Hello, Danielle. I hope you slept well. These are for you. I want you to know you're safe. Everything's gonna be fine. Are you crazy? <laughs> Only for you. I've been watching you. You're a stalker, aren't you? I wouldn't say that. More like I'm your biggest fan. You see, I've been following you on social media for quite some time now. And when all of us were forced to join this dating app, I made it my goal to become your perfect match. And thanks to this dating system, I'm now your boyfriend. Anyways, I'd like you to put that on. That's not happening. If you don't wear it, you don't eat. I need to switch my boyfriend. You already picked a boyfriend, you may not change it. No, please, it is an emergency. Question, do you feel your life currently at risk? Anyways, I'd like you to put that on. That's not happening. If you don't wear it, you don't eat. I need to switch my boyfriend. You already picked a boyfriend, you may not change it. No, please, it is an emergency. Question, do you feel your life currently at risk? Yes! That's all my money in my bank account. Five seconds to decide. Okay, deal. Sending authorities now. Cheers to us, Danielle. I'm so glad you decided to wear the dress. Where are they? Where's who? You sure you're alright, miss? Danielle! Sir, stop resisting. I love you, Danielle. I'm gonna find you again. I promise. Ready to meet your new boyfriend? Mom, look, my soulmate can control my hands or my hair. I think I'm gonna go with hands. Oh, no you don't. That's very inappropriate. Pick hair. But- This isn't up for debate. Eat the other one. Fine. I swear, Mom, my soulmate better not give me a weird hairstyle. Bye, Mom. I'm going to school now. Um, honey? What? Oh, why won't these come out? You may not remove no, hairstyle. No, I can't go to class like this. The preschool's that way. Shut up. I didn't pick this hair. My soulmate did. If he gives me one more bad hairstyle, I'm done. Sup, Wednesday? What? Have you not looked in a mirror? <laughs> that's not Wednesday, that's Thursday. Wow, so clever. Are you okay? I'm so mad at my soulmate. He gave me this dumb hairstyle and I can't take it off and people are calling me really mean names. What? I think you look cute. Well, thanks, but no one else does. What do you want your hair to be? I don't know, like curly hair, I guess? Huh. Well, I hope it happens for you. Wait, what? My soulmate controls my hand or my clothes? I've heard some weird stories about people who chose hands, so I'm gonna go with clothes. Please pick me something good. A party dress? I have school today, so there's no way I'm wearing... This is some sort of joke, right? I'm not wearing this to school. Why isn't it coming off? You may not remove the outfit. Hey guys, look at what this girl is wearing. Sweetie, prom's not till next month. <laughs> that is not school appropriate. Detention. But I didn't choose to wear this. My soulmate made me. Too bad. Excuse me, are you okay? I'm so mad at my soulmate. I can't take this outfit off and I already got detention for it. And I'm freezing. Here, take my jacket. Thanks. What clothes would you want your soulmate to pick for you? I don't know, like jeans and a t-shirt. Today I swear he better not... 
Those are the clothes that I told to that guy. Really, guys? You got me a paint set for my birthday? Sweetheart, that is a special paint set. This thing doesn't even come with a paintbrush. Press a color. Um, okay. What is 13 times 379? 4,927. Excuse me? Ah, I believe that's the answer. 4,927. That's right. Oh, what? what? The hell? You didn't use a calculator. How did you... This power is making me super smart. Want to ditch class and go to the mall? Yeah, but the probability of us getting caught is like 80%. I'll take my chances, Einstein. Let's go to the American Girl store. Okay. Aw, look at the cute girl and her doll. Hey, kid, did you know that American Girl dolls were invented in 1986? I think I know more about American Girl yeah. dolls than you do, You know about this any American Girl said. Pick a color. I think I'm gonna pick red today. Oh, I'm gonna fail this test. Hey, chill. Whoa. What? Are you by any chance wanting to become a doctor? How do you know that? Yeah, you know what? I just had this feeling, and uh, I would not sweat that test if I were you. You're gonna be just fine. I heard you could see the future. Sorry, I really don't know what you're talking about. Actually, give me your hand. What did you say your name was? Adrian. Why? Well, you could have this back. And just, um, stay away from me. Please tell me my future. Fine, but you're the last one I'm doing today. No, Paul No! No! No, 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 What? What did you see? On Wednesdays, we wear pink. Sweetheart, Fluffy needs a bath. No way, that dog does not like me. Yes, she does. <coughs> see? You see? <coughs> Hold her! No, no, no. Aww. Why did you never do this to me before? Hey, Darren, I think you left your phone in class. Aw, oh, jeez, thanks. I... I love you. What? Yeah, will you please be my girlfriend? Yes. I mean... Yes. I think this power makes anyone I touch fall in love with me. Sweetheart, I brought the team over for dinner. Please shake everyone's hand. Introduce yourself. Oh, no, I don't think that's a good idea. Too stuck up to shake our hands? No, it's not that. I just... Uh -huh. That's rude, bro. You know what? Fine. Nice to meet you. Why are you guys looking at me like that? Pick a color. Today, let's try yellow. Bria, is that you? Yeah, it's really me. I can't believe you're at our school. Well, that's a little odd, considering, you know, I've gone here for four years. <laughs> you're so funny. Smile! This is going on my fan page. You have a fan page of me. Of course, basically everyone does. I think this power made me famous. Can you sign my backpack? Sure. Can you sign mine? No, I was waiting here for her first. No, I was here first. Please don't fight. You're making her uncomfortable. I am not. Being famous is way harder than I thought it would be. They won't leave me alone. I think I see her down there. They found me. Oh, I think I lost them. Hey. Hi. How do you be famous? Nah, trust me, kid. You don't. Being famous isn't all it's cracked up to be. Ah! No, the itsy bitsy spider. Stop. Where did you learn to sing? I don't know. I just saw it on the TV. Honey, you must remember, singing is deadly. The TV is trying to trick you. You must never sing again. Okay, I won't. Going to class? Yeah. And you think you can go without wearing earplugs? Come on. Do I have to wear them? Yes. You never know when someone could start singing. These are lifesavers. Hey, take those out of your ears. Yeah, take them out. My mom says I'm not supposed to take these off. Can I just try them on? Yeah, for a second. Thank you. Yeah, these are trash. Hey! Oh, relax. You'll be fine without them. Bria, I need to see you after class, please. Miss Claremont, if this is about my grade, I... No, dear. This isn't about your grade. What are you doing? Mary had a little lamb. Miss Claremont, lamb. please stop singing. Little lamb, little lamb. Mary, little lamb. Stop. Mary had a little... <gasps> 
Oh my gosh, what did you do to Miss Claremont? She was trying to kill me. What? what? She would never do that. I am calling the police. Honey, what's the matter? It was awful. Someone took my earplugs, and then my teacher tried to kill me. What are you doing? Well, goodbye, baby. Why are you singing? Hush, little baby. Mama's gonna buy you a mocking. <gasps> Honey? Are you okay? I'm- I'm so sorry. Why would you do that? I- I don't know. It was like something was controlling me. Bria? No, no, stop. Stay with me. Bria, wake up. Honey, please wake up. Mom? I'm here. I'm here. Oh, my ears, they hurt. Uh, so bad. It's gonna be okay. Let me just look. I see something. What? There is something in your ear. I'm gonna take it out. No, no, don't. Bria, I have to. It's probably what's causing you the pain. Don't move. Is it out? I got it. This is what was inside of your ear. I think there's one in my ear, too. You need to take it out. Fine. Just come here. Oh, I got it. Thank goodness. I need to test something. Put those on and sing. No, Mom, I don't want to hurt you. It's okay, honey. Sing. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun. Are you okay? I'm fine. It was the chip killing people all along. But who would have put it in all of our ears? Open up. I'm gonna need both of you to come with me. No thanks. Oh. Mom, did you just kill him? No, he's still alive. We need to question him. Go get the duct tape. There. He's not going anywhere. Ugh. Hey, what are you guys doing? We want to know who you work for and why we found this inside of our ears. Show him. I... I don't know what you're talking about. If you won't talk, we'll sing. Wait, Mom, we can't do that. Yes, we can, honey. We don't have the chips in our ears anymore. It won't hurt us, but it'll hurt him. Just keep your eyes closed. No, hey, wait a minute. Are you, are you coming into the tree where dead men called out for his love to flee? Strange. Oh, wait, stop. I'll tell you. I work for a secret government organization. We put chips in everyone's ears and wipe their memories of it. By making singing lethal, it was a way for us to control the public. This is horrible. We have to tell everyone. Go ahead, honey. We're live. We have all been lied to. The government has been putting these in our ears. That's why singing kills us. But if you take them out, singing will no longer kill anyone, and we can be free. We did it, Bria. We're all saved. Mom, what's this location thingy? Honey, that means you're the special one of the family. Huh? One family member from each household is given the gift of knowing people's locations. Sweet. Cool, sis. Makes up for the fact that you've got no other talent. <laughs> Your brother isn't answering his phone. Where's my brother? He's at Jessica's, and I think we probably know what they're both doing. <gasps> oh, he is so grounded. Dad, you're back from your trip early. Uh, yeah, I am. Secret handshake? What? <laughs> Our secret handshake, we always do it when you get back from your trip. Oh, of course. Uh, honey, I'm so sorry. I'm just so tired. I'm gonna go lay down. He would never forget our secret handshake. I might be crazy to ask this, but where's my dad? It's him. Hey, you in there? Hi, honey. Oh, hey, dad. Is your phone ringing? No. Oh, really? Because I'm pretty sure I hear that. Who's calling you? No one. It was just uh, a video that I was watching. Um, anyways, I'm gonna go now. Hello? Penny, hey, listen to me very carefully. Dad? Yes, that man in the house is not me. Get your mom and your brother and get out. Wait, what? There's a lot more to explain, but- Hello? <gasps> come on, come on, pick up. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. What? Where is my dad? Dinner's ready. Okay, just a minute. Hey, sis, thanks a lot for snitching on me. Come here. Get off of me, what's up? Shh, something very bad has happened, and I need your help. So there's a man pretending to be dad? Yes. And our real dad is in a basement? Yeah. Your dinner is getting cold. Mom, there's something that we need to- Hey, kids, get to the dinner table now. Doesn't the food look good? Um, who made this? Would you believe it? Your father did. Actually, I'm not hungry. Ah, uh, Penny, come on. Well, I'm starving. No, Mom, don't. Mm, this is great. It's a new recipe. 
Can we be excused? You can, but your brother is still eating. Let him eat in peace, honey. But- Penny, it's fine. Just go upstairs. Hello, Penny. <gasps> Dad! You can cut the act. You know I'm not your father. Your mom and brother are taking a little nap. Where are they? Why don't you ask for yourself? <laughs> Where's my brother and mom? Where's my mom and brother? Where are you taking them? Who are you? Well, Penny, I'm actually your uncle. What? Didn't your dad ever tell you he had a twin? <laughs> what do you want with us? Your dad owes me a lot of money, and he hasn't been very cooperative, so I decided I needed a little leverage. That's where your family comes into play. Are my mom and brother... They're fine, and they'll stay that way as long as your dad cooperates. And what about me? Someone with your power can be very useful for my line of work. I think I'll keep you. Your dad escaped from my men. Ask where he is. Where's my dad? So, what's it say? It says he's in his car. Well, he's too late. You and I are leaving. I don't think so. Oh! Penny! Hey! Are you okay? Is it really you? Yes, Penny, I swear it's me, honey. I just found your mom and brother. They're all right. You're safe now. Layla, where are you? You're supposed to be my backup. Layla! She just put in the chat that she's out of speaking time. And we just lost. Your mother requests to see you. Guys, I gotta head off. See you later, rich girl. Must be nice to have a butler. Shut up. Tell her I'll be right there. Bye. Darling, meet my new boyfriend. What's up? Mom, can I speak to you alone for a minute? Okay, I'll be right back, babe. Mom, he is like 25. You realize that you're 40 now, right? So? Age is just a number, and he makes me happy. Don't you want me to be happy? Yeah, man, she's hot and loaded. Nah, she doesn't even know about my secret. Dude, her daughter's kind of hot, too. I'm just in this for the money, though. Shit, you scared me. Wait, how long have you been standing out here? Hey, hold on. Mom, your boyfriend is a... Aw, you're out of speaking time, honey. I thought you had an hour left. Guess there was a glitch. Honey, enough charades. I don't understand. Well, that was weird. <gasps> Young lady, what is wrong with you? I'm so sorry, babe. Go to your room. You seem stressed. Here, take your squishy. You know, you could use your phone to communicate. She's not picking up? They did leave, saying they wanted alone time. <sighs> yes! Oh, he is so busted. Mom, there's something I need- I have to take a phone call, excuse me. Don't worry, I'll keep her company. You stay out of my way. This is your final warning. You have no idea what I'm capable of. Her boyfriend's controlling your speaking time? Yeah, I mean, it's the only thing that makes sense. <clears throat> the boyfriend has left. Time for me to expose him. Hi, Mom. I see your boyfriend isn't around. He went to go get me coffee. Isn't that sweet? No, actually not sweet, because he has a big secret, and one of them is that he's been stealing my speaking time. Hey, I'm back. No, watch, Mom. My speaking time is just going to magically disappear now. What? Seems fine to me, honey. Okay, fine. If I saw my voice, then I'm going to use it. I heard you saying that you had a secret. A secret? Oh, boy. I wanted this to be a surprise, but oh, well. Evelyn, will you make me the happiest man alive and marry me? Babe, yes! <laughs> I cannot let her marry him. Hey, what is this? This is how he's been controlling my speaking time. Give me that! I warned you! Come here! Your plan to expose me didn't work. Your mom and I are going to get married today in Las Vegas. Babe, where are you? Coming, sweetheart. Sadie, there you are. I had a feeling you might be in need of some help. There we go. Are you quite all right, Miss Sadie? Here you are. I took this off of Mr. Blake. Shall I get us a cab for Las Vegas? Oh, yeah. I now pronounce you husband. Stop the wedding. Your fiancé, Blake, is a psychotic little gold digger. Babe, I thought she was sick. No, Mom. He locked me in my makeup room. What? She's lying. I saw her myself, and he's also been stealing her speaking time. I have not. How could he do that? With this. Hey! You give that back, you little- I think you've said enough. You jerk! That's for messing with my daughter. Oh. And that's for taking my speaking time. 
So, how many words you get for the year? Only three again. Ah, oh, might as well use them up. Come on. I love you. And I love you more. Hi, what can I get you today? She doesn't have any words, miss. But I'll order for her. She's just gonna have a salad, but I'm gonna get a cheeseburger, double fries. Babe, you're looking kind of pale today. You wanna get your makeup done? Yeah, you do. Come on, let's go. I love this color on you. Me too. Hey, babe, show her the bruise. Any chance you can cover that? She's so clumsy. Oh, yeah, totally. We can take care of that. Sir, would you want to buy the concealer I use on her? Actually, yeah, that'd be great. I'll go pay for this. You stay here. I love this. He can't hear us anymore. Here, take some words. Please, you can trust me. Is something wrong? He can't hear you right now. He's not my boyfriend. He's not, is he? I knew it. Okay, listen, I'm going to get help for you. But I'm going to need you to give me some more information. He's coming. Okay, got the concealer. Time to go. Sir, wait. He's not my boyfriend. He's not, is he? I knew it. Okay, listen, I'm going to get help for you. But I'm going to need you to give me some more information. He's coming. Okay, got the concealer. Time to go. Sir, wait. Why is the makeup lady chasing after us? Sir! Let's get out of here. Well, that was weird. Did she at least cover up your bruise? Good. Good. Go change your hair to a different style. I'm gonna go make dinner. You look much better now, babe. What's going on? Let me turn this up. No, don't! Did you just... How the hell did you get words? So now you want to be quiet, huh? Answer me! How did you get them? You don't have any left now, do you? Give me that remote. You better hope this news isn't about you. So this girl comes into my makeup store with a bruise. I gave her some words and it turns out the man she was with... <laughs> you ratted me out? After everything that I've done for you. I have been so good to you. Now that's gonna change. Police, open the door. They finally found me. But they won't find you. Pet sit a millionaire's dog or tutor a billionaire's child. I'm pretty sure the billionaires are gonna pay more. We will pay you 500 per day. <laughs> Don't be silly, dear. Per hour. Well, that sounds terrific. Where is my son? One moment, I'll go get him. I will be right here. You're going to wish you didn't accept that job. What, is he a lot of trouble or something? You have no idea. Hello, I'm Ronald. Well, it's nice to meet you, Ronald. I'm Bree. You are really tall for 12. Yeah, can we start the tutoring now? We can start right now. Where's a good room to start? This way. Follow me. Hey, Ronald, how are you doing on that worksheet I gave you? I'm done. Here. Oh, that was really fast. <laughs> Is something wrong? It's just that your mom said you were really bad at math, but these all look correct. Where is your mom? On a trip. She just left. Mommy will be gone for a while. Oh, okay, well, I kind of wish they would have mentioned that. I guess we'll just try something a little more challenging for you next time. Would you like a drink? Actually, yeah, that would be great. Thanks. Hello? I'm back. Sorry, you scared me. Um, do you know why there's noises coming from that hallway down there? Uh, that's my dog. I'm sorry. He's really loud. Oh, your dog. Okay. <laughs> Here's your drink. I'm actually good. I have to go catch my Uber, but I'll see you tomorrow. Text from the mom. Forgot to mention that Ronald is highly allergic to... dogs. Can we start our lesson? Not yet. Ronald, why did you lie to me? I don't know what you're talking about. Yesterday, that noise I heard, you told me it was a dog. Because it is. Ronald, stop. Your mom already texted me telling me you were highly allergic to dogs. So how could you have one? Because I found it on the street and I didn't tell mommy. I'll take special meds just to be around the dog. Please, she's the only friend I got. Look, I get it. But Ronald, it's not safe for you or the dog. It's not fair to keep it down there in the basement. Why don't you and I go down there together? We can take it to the rescue shelter and find it a really good home. No. Don't go down there. I just, uh, don't want you to get bit by her, because she's only used to me. Don't tell Mommy and Daddy. I promise I'll get her to the shelter. For the problem you're on right now, you're going to need to solve for an X and a Y. X equals 25 and Y equals 6. How did you... Do you have a boyfriend? <laughs> what? I said, do you have a boyfriend? Let's just focus on our work. Sorry. I was just trying to make conversation. Well, I do, but we're kind of long distance, and I'm not really sure how long things are going to... You know what? I really don't want to talk about this right now. Let's just focus on your assignment. But I'm starving. And I had the butler make us a special meal. Can we take a lunch break? Okay. Cool. BRB. Gosh, that poor dog. I have to go check on it. 
Hey, it's okay, girl. I'm gonna open the door. Please don't bite me. <gasps> what did I just see? That didn't look like a dog that looked Excuse like- Excuse me, miss. Ronald has prepared food for you. But he said that you prepared the meal. No, he insisted on making it himself. Goodbye. Wait! Have you ever seen what's behind that door? I have seen many things. I warned you this job wouldn't be worth the money. Wait, where are you going? Oh, Tutor, where'd you go? There you are. Why are you packing up? I'm so sorry, Ronald, but I... I have to go. What? But your meal is already ready. I'm not really hungry anymore. My mommy already paid you for the session. Why are you leaving early? Did you go into the basement? I really need to go. Come on, open. Hello. You know, you really shouldn't have went down there. What is in the basement? Well, you see, you're not really my first tutor. The other ones, they just didn't listen. What is in there? My other tutors. And now you're going to have to join them. Ugh, my head. She woke up. Shh, you're going to scare her. What the hell? Where am I? We're all locked in a basement. Wait a minute, are you Ronald's other tutors? Yeah. yeah. How long have you guys been down here? We've been down here for like a month. You have? Good, you're awake. So, how are you? Not great, you know, because you hit me in the back of the head with a frying pan. I'm sorry, I just wanted some friends. Ronald, this isn't the way, though. You have to let us go. Darling, I'm home. Not a word. Stay quiet. Ronald! Coming, mummy! Ronald, there you Don't are. bother calling for help. She can't hear us. How does a 12-year-old get his hands on something like that? Well, they are billionaires. They probably buy him whatever he wants. Well, there has to be some way out of here. I wish, girl, we tried. Oh my gosh, he left my phone. Can either of you reach it? No, both of our hands are tied. Okay, well, I'm just gonna kick the table over. <sighs> oh my gosh. Okay, who are you calling? I'm using my foot to text my boyfriend. Your boyfriend? No, girl, call the cops. <sighs> no, 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 girls, trust me, this is the right move. He can track my phone and have a team here in just a few minutes. Huh? huh? Is your boyfriend a spy or something? Uh-oh. What? What? My phone died. No. Girls, I'm sorry to do this, but I'll have to get rid of two of you. What? No, please. Ronald, no. Chill, I'm not gonna get rid of Freeze Kid. What the? Got your text, babe. I had no idea my son was capable of doing such terrible things. Girls, please take this. These checks are for a million. I know. Are you sure? Yes. It's the least I can do. Thank you for saving us, sir. Absolutely. Glad you guys are safe. Girl, he's a real keeper. Yeah, he is. I was meant to be a boyfriend, not him. Can someone please get Ronald McDonald out of here? How dare you? You need a job, girl. Yeah, I know. I only have $20 in my account. You know that nanny app? Yeah. Apparently some billionaire is looking for a nanny. Let me see. He's kind of cute. It says he wants them to be CPR certified, have five years of experience with working with kids, and a college degree. All things I don't have. But he doesn't know that. Stacy, no, we are not faking documents. You need money, honey. <laughs> don't, don't give me that look. Wow, this is amazing. Your resume is just outstanding. Thank you. When can you start? Oh, I'm free to start whenever you like. <laughs> All right, okay, here you go. I'm going to give you your first paycheck right now. I got two other kids right there. Say hi, girls. This is your new nanny. Hi, can she cook? Oh, well, actually... Yeah, her resume says she can cook anything. Since you're a chef, can you make us sushi? Yeah, whatever you girls want. Yay. Yes! Hi, I just want to order some sushi, but I need it delivered out back. <laughs> Don't you dare snitch on me. Mmm, this is so good. Well, I'm glad you like it. Daddy used to cook for us, but now he's too busy with his job. Yeah. You know, what is your dad's job anyway? <laughs> We're not allowed to say... Who made this? Oh, that would be me. Hi, I'm the new nanny. And who are you? I'm Darren's girlfriend, and I'm allergic to sushi. Throw this away. Just go in the other room. It's not bothering you. Ow. Hey. <sighs> it's fine, honey. Darren gave me permission to discipline the girls. Are you okay? I have to tell your dad about that. Don't bother. He, he won't believe you. She acts different around him. Excuse me, sir. Lucy, hey. This is for you for being so great today. Now, if you'll excuse me. Is that a gun? Is that a gun? 
Oh, you weren't supposed to see that. <laughs> Why do you have that? What is your job? Listen, Lucy, if you're gonna work for me, there's some questions that are off limits, and that's one of them. Excuse me? No, I want to know that I'm safe here. You are very safe with me, Lucy. I promise. Actually, sir, I came up here to talk to you about your girlfriend. What about me? Hey, babe. Hey, baby. Yeah, what about it? I was just gonna say that she's gorgeous. Darren already knows that. Don't you, babe? He didn't listen, did he? No, not really. I told you. Listen, girls, don't worry. I'm gonna find a way to expose her. No, baby, he's just a job. You're the one that I love. We'll talk later, okay? Bye. Lucy, you didn't hear anything. Oh, but I did. No, you didn't. That's a lot of money, huh? It can all be yours. If you keep your mouth shut. Don't tell Darren about my man, and the money's yours. You have a deal. Perfect. And then the fairy lived happily ever after. The end. Thank you for reading the book. I always wanted my mommy to read it. May I ask what happened to your real mommy? I don't know my real mommy or daddy. We were all in foster care before this, but Darren adopted us. But I love you, Lucy, because you're like a real mommy to me. Yeah. I love you girls, too. Then tell him I'm gonna make him an offer he can't refuse. And you better give me my money by tonight. Does this guy work for the Mafia or something? Hey, Lucy. Oh, I, I got it. it. Uh. Huh, you know, you got really nice- Hey, babe, guess what? Your nanny is a fake. The college she graduated from doesn't exist. I can explain. I don't like liars, Lucy. She lied about everything on her resume. Pack your stuff right now and get out. I told you to go. She needs to be fed. I can take care of that. Sir, please don't fire me. I know I shouldn't have lied about my resume, but I do care about your girls. And if you fire me, they're going to be heartbroken. The kids will be fine, Lucy. Well, then you should know that your girlfriend is cheating on you. What are you talking about? She's lying. I heard her on the phone in the closet. She paid me not to say anything. I did not. You lied to me once, you're probably lying to me again. But sir- You're fired, hun. Get over it. Give me the baby. No. Lucy. Shh, it's okay. Lucy, where are you going? I'm so sorry. I'll be taking that money back. <laughs> It'll be okay? No, it's not gonna be okay. I failed them. Ugh, his girlfriend is so evil. No, baby, he's just a job. You're the one that I love. I think she's out to get his money. Huh? The kids are in danger. I have to go help them. Where's Daddy? Sorry, honey, but Daddy's getting interrogated right now. <laughs> I have to get in there. Hey, where do you think you're going? Hey, boss, look who I found. Well, well. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. Yes, girls, stop struggling. Everything will be fine. For me. Actually, no, it's not, because I may not be a chef or have graduated from college, but there's one thing that I didn't put on my resume that's uh, about to come in real handy right now. And what's that? How did you- I'm a black belt in Taekwondo, bitch. Lucy. Girls. It's okay. Lucy, is everyone all right? Yeah, Lucy saved us. You're hurt. I'm fine. Thank you. Daddy. Does this mean that Lucy can stay? Yeah, I just hope she can forgive me for being so. Now they have to get married. Yeah, or at least give her a raise, Dad. <laughs> Maybe I'll do both. Girls, the letters from your soulmates have arrived. One for you, Franny. Yay. And one for you, Olivia. Thank you, Mother. Is there one for me? Why, yes, dear. <laughs> this is yours. It's empty. How fitting. What is that supposed to mean? The only person who could love you is... No one. <laughs> <laughs> there has to be some sort of mistake. There's not even a stamp on this envelope. The king himself sends out these letters. Are you questioning his authority? No, I just... There has to be a note for me or something. Mother, you have something for her. Oh, well, as a matter of fact, I do. What's this? A list of chores that need to be completed. You shall not eat until they're done. So get to it. Ah, oh, no. My letter. She threw it away? It has the royal stamp on it, which means my soulmate letter is from the prince. I look forward to seeing you at the royal ball. Sincerely, Prince Anthony. 
My soulmate is the prince. No one can know about this. Brielle, pour me my tea. Yes, ma'am. Mother, we have nothing to wear to the ball. We need some more dresses. You have plenty of dresses that you can wear. Don't be selfish. What did you just say? Ooh, she's gonna get it now. You should apologize to Mother. I... <gasps> that wasn't my fault. She... she pushed me. You idiot. I am so sorry. <sighs> Come here. You're staying in here tonight. No, please. Please let me out. Hello? Anyone? Brielle, wake up! Olivia, what are you doing? I'm gonna help you. I brought you food. This? This is the kindest thing you've ever done for me. Oh, here! I found your real soulmate letter. Thank you. The annual soulmate ball is tomorrow. You should come. I would love to, but your mother will never let me go. I have a plan on how you can sneak out. Really? Yeah. I'll keep your letter safe until then. Mother will let you out in a few hours. Bye. Oh, but... Hello, Brielle. I hope you learned your lesson. Now come. Olivia wants to speak with you. Whoa, that dress looks great on you. Thank you, but can I have my soulmate letter back now? Yeah, of course. Here. Hey, why does my soulmate letter status say stolen? You have your letter. It's got to be a glitch. Yeah, I guess you're right, but will they let me in the ball with the status? No one can see your status except for you. Brielle, where are you? Hold on to that letter. You'll need to show it to your soulmate as proof that you're his match. Now let's go. Bye. Good luck at the ball. <laughs> I'm so sorry, miss. You're... Prince Anthony. Yes. Please, excuse me. I was trying to find my soulmate. Your Highness, wait. I... I believe that I'm your soulmate. You are? Yes. Would you like to see my letter? No need. Those letters are my father's idea. To be honest, I find them a bit ridiculous. Yeah, I sort of think that if someone is right for you, you'll just know. Yes, exactly. <gasps> oh Prince my gosh, Anthony. please dance with me. Maybe we should go somewhere a little more... <laughs> Private. So, what do you do for fun? Fun? Yes, during your free time. I don't really have much free time. My mother, she's very strict. My father is too. He never lets me leave the castle. You should be allowed to explore your kingdom. I tried to explain that to him, but he never listens. My mother never listens to me either. How could someone not listen to a sweet person like- There she is! There she is! That's the girl! Olivia? Don't act shocked! You know her? Oh, she knows me, your highness, and I would stay away from her. What are you doing? There are claims you have lied about your soulmate letter. That's not true! Uh-huh. He is my soulmate! I have the proof! Just look at my letter! The letter in this envelope is not from the prince. What? I have his letter right here. You switched them. What is going on here? She's pretending to be me. No, Olivia is lying. That letter belongs to me. Your Highness, don't listen to her. She's trying to trick you. She is the one trying to trick you, I swear. Enough. You're under arrest. Leave her alone. Where do you think you're going? Your... Your Majesty. Guards, arrest her at once. No, please wait. Stay still. Is it true you have been lying to my son? I would never. Thank goodness you caught her. How do you know this girl? She's my servant. You're not a servant, right? The truth is, I am a maid, but not by choice. What do you mean by that? That woman is not my mother by blood. She married my father, and then she poisoned him so she could take all his money. Lies? I would never. She did, and she forces me to clean, and so do her daughters. What? We do not. I don't know who to believe. I do. Brielle is telling the truth. Her eyes are innocent. The prince is mistaken. Please, father. I'm asking you to trust me on this. Just this once. Release the girl and arrest her family. I believe you, son. What? No. You said this would work, mother. Good morning, my love. Breakfast is ready. They made breakfast? For me? Remember, I told you as my wife, you'll never have to cook or clean again. I simply won't allow it. Well, I guess I can't complain about that. It's just I... I'm not sure I'm fit to be a princess. You're so beautiful that when we first met, I thought you were one. Really? Yes. But more importantly, you have a pure heart which makes you more than deserving to wear that crown. Happy birthday! We got you something! I think I know what it is. An iPhone 4 colored pencils. pencils.
Really? Honey, they're magic pencils. Why? Class, write this down. Purple power unlocked. Hey, babe, do you mind if we take a rain check on our date this week? Are you nervous? <laughs> Wh what? No, of course not. Are you hiding something from me? Crap, I can't do this anymore. I cheated on you, okay? I'm sorry. I feel so bad you and your boyfriend broke up. This tells me people's emotions. You're not sad. I don't know what you're talking about. She was jealous of us. I knew it. Hey, um, where's mom? She's outside with Coco giving her a lecture about listening. Coco, when mommy says stop, you say okay. I'm just a baby. Mom, you might not want to talk to her right now. But you still have to say okay, mom. I'm just a baby. I think today I'm going to go with red. Red power unlocked. I get to see people's ages. Well, this will be interesting. Hey, good morning, girly. You're 20? What? How did you find out? Never mind that, but why are you still in high school? I failed. I got held back. Hey, it's okay. Your secret is safe with me. Hey, I'm new. Is it cool if I sit here? Yeah, of course. Thanks. So, how old are you? Me? Oh, uh, I just turned 17 about like uh, two months ago. Hey, what? Do you believe in vampires? No. Why? Because I think I'm sitting next to you. Huh? You're funny. I'm telling you, he's a hundred years old. Can you watch my bag? I gotta use the restroom. Yeah, sure. See, he's... Girl, what are you doing? Looking for evidence. Ew, what is that? I think this is... What the hell, dude? What are you doing with my stuff? What are you doing with my stuff? Well, I think the better question is, what are you doing with this? That's for my lunch. It's strawberry jam. Oh! <laughs> Can I have my stuff back? Yeah, sorry. Yesterday's power was kind of a disaster, so today I think I'm going to go with green. Green power unlocked. Let's hope this power helps me figure out if that guy is a vampire or not. Hey, so I just wanted to apologize about yesterday. You're good. I actually think you're kind of cute. <laughs> How old did you say you were again? Seventeen. I'm throwing a party tonight. Want to come? Yeah, sure. I would love that. Sweet. I'll airdrop you my address. Hey, you made it. Yeah, but where is everyone? They're on their way. Hey, Mom, this is the girl I was telling you about. Ooh, she looks beautifully delicious. Stop it. Really? I could just eat you. Oh, no. Try my punch, darling. The flavor is to die for. Get back. I'm leaving. Wait. I have two vampires after me. This calls for some extreme powers. What would happen if I just picked all of them? Are you sure you want to combine all the pencil's power? I have to. Wish mode activated. There you are. Please, don't be scared. I know you know I'm a vampire, and I'm sorry about lying about the party. Your mom was trying to kill me. I was just trying to hang out with you alone. I didn't realize she was going to act like that. She has bloodlust. I wish you were a vampire so you could understand. Wish granted. What just happened? I think you just turned me into a vampire. How is that even possible? Because I have a secret too, okay? I have magic colored pencils and I think you just used the last of their power. You don't have to worry about my mom killing you anymore. Thank you, because that makes me feel so much better. Hey, since I did this to you, I promise I'll protect you. I'll teach you how to be a great vampire.